Oh, Westbridge Hills, welcome back to episode 28 with me, Mr. Sealy P. So, here's a brief rundown of where we're at since the last episode, which was our multiplayer episode, where I had help from Moomin Seal to clear field 21, bottom right hand corner, southeast. We didn't quite get it finished in the episode. So, since the end of the episode, I finally cleared that field. It's in here. It is 30% fermented. There's about, I think, it's about 71% full. Uh, 600 and something thousand litres. So, there's a fair bit in there that is now fermenting. If you look ahead of us now, this is field 21. So what I've also done is come down, fertilised field 21, and with the horse pronto and the Vedastat, I've now planted it with wheat. I haven't done wheat yet. Um, we've got barley uh, on 19, all the way down there. We've got oilseed rape in 16, 15 and 10. This one had the maize or corn that we did for an all crop. Now it's got wheat in it. Thought we'd give wheat a go. I will probably cut that for the wheat, leave the straw swaths behind, and as per usual, straw swaths can come off the field and we can go into another silage bay, silage silo to make more silage. I have also been cutting the grass. I have plenty of hay bales, so I'm not doing this for hay. I'm literally doing this for grass. I'm going to do one cut. I'm going to windrow it. And that will be used for grass for the cows. I'm intending on buying some more cows. Um, and obviously the grass that's in that um, borage wagon isn't going to last forever. So I stuck the mowers on the door. It's far. Um, and I'm going to get some mowing done. <coughs> As per usual you're not going to really want to watch it because it is just literally mowing um, and if you've seen it before you've seen it a hundred times i will probably speed a little bit up there's not much left to do on this one and then i'm going to do a bit of wind rowing um, but just to keep you updated as to where we are at the moment and the rest of this episode hopefully will be taken up uh, doing something else um, that's the plan <coughs> but I want to get this mowing done first um, just so I've got grass on hand so that when I do increase the amount of cows I've got I will have grass on hand, straw on hand I'll have the bales on hand and hopefully the silage on hand to feed them properly that's the plan so sit back, relax not much left to do I will finish cutting the grass And that 
is the last of the grass cutting done for the time being. I'm going to grab the wind rower and we will do some wind rowing as well. Like I say, it's only one cut this time. You can see the actual swath it's making isn't as, uh, or the windrow, sorry, isn't as high as when I've done the double cuts before. Um, but the intention is not to have mountains and mountains. I normally have loads when I'm trying to bale, because I'm trying to make as many bales as possible on whatever size patch of ground I have. This is not about baling, this is about grass. This is just about collecting grass for the cows. Okay, that is the wind rowing done. It is now quarter to eight. It's getting late. Nearly time for my bedtime. So what I think I'm going to do is park this up. Like I say, that's the wind rowing done for now. The grass we will need to use at some point. Just... Just clear that. Fantastic. Okay. That's that done. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to do with the Deutzfahr down here. At the moment. I don't think so. Oh, actually, yes, I know what I'll do. Having just done that, as you can see, the oil seed rape's growing nicely. Might as well top these both up while we're here. There you go, didn't take a lot. Right through the bush, brilliant. Just scratched all the paintwork. It's 
it's probably going to take a bit more straw because I haven't filled that for a while. But as soon as I do the barley field or the wheat field, I can refill it again. Didn't take as much as I thought. Okay, now let's see if I can do this. Probably not, because I'm awful at it, but... As you can see... <laughs> oh, dearie me. Gently does it. We got there in the end. Okay, so as I said, it is late. It is now nearly quarter to eight. I'm going to take the door as far back to the main yard and probably head off to bed. And then tomorrow morning, we will start with whatever presents itself. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll be exciting. See you in the morning. Now, I don't know how many of you remember Chad. Chad was on our earlier episodes, and he's one of our night workers. Chad does a fantastic job. Chad waits down here by the silage bay for when it's fermented, because obviously, being tucked up in bed at night, um, if it's ready to go, it's ready to go. So what will happen now is Chad, in the cab, is going to start selling some of this 640,000 litres 71% full hopefully by the morning when I get up we'll have a bit of money in the bank and some of this will be sold then we can proceed maybe more fields maybe more equipment uh, yeah that's what I'm hoping for so over to you, Chad. As per usual, it is bang on six o'clock and it looks like the workers have vanished already. Not a surprise, it's probably been a pretty long night. And judging by the state of this, it's got a fair old bit of silage on it. Um, okay, yeah, about what's that half this size bay? Probably just over half this size bay gone. Bank balance looking incredibly healthy. Just jump into this. Oh, full load. Okay, right, what we'll do then is. Unload this last load. Here. So it gives us a few options now of what we can do next. Which is what we really needed was a few options. I'm pretty sure as well that some of the fields are going to be ready. Let me just have a quick look here. Okay, right, so fields 15, 16 and 10, which all have canola in them, are all ready to harvest. Which is fine. Um, I'm trying to think now. What field to buy next. I've got enough money. I can buy a field. I've also got enough money to buy some more cows. Um, what else? I need to get a telehandler because I sold that one I didn't like. So I'm going to need a telehandler. Um, what else? I want to get a grain trailer for the IT runner. Um, so yeah, there's a bit we can do. Right. Now, if I'm pretty sure then as well that the uh, silage back at the dairy farm should be um, ready as well, I would imagine. I can't remember, did I blanket that before or after that one? Before, or didn't I? Looks like it. Yep, that's good to go as well. So, lots and lots of possibilities of things to do. Problem is, we're not going to do them all in this episode. I can't do anything with the bales until I've got the new telehandler but what I can do is look at that sun coming up cows are out let's let's see if we sale just a bucket that's no good 
Animals, right. Cows, we've got 15. 16. 40. Okay, 40 cows. Wow. Um, so we're going to do a bit more work on these then uh, in a little while. When I get the telly handler, we'll do some mixed ration. We'll probably get some more silage into the silage here. Probably get some more straw and grass in um, because we've got more cows now. They're going to be using that. Right, okay then. So next step then will be to the shop. Uh, so I've got the Case Puma with the IT runner trailer here. Um, yeah. So I want trailers, tippers that is. And I want to get the grain trailer. That's the one. I want a sensible colour, I don't want to go mad. I've done enough crazy stuff. Um, I might just keep it green actually. Um, yeah, that dark one. Okay. Um, what else do I need? Um, so I'm worried about spending too much, they're not having have enough to get a field. Um, I've still got more silage, I'll always buy some more, can't I? Telehandler. New Holland, absolutely the New Holland. That's that done. Um, what else while I was here? Oh, that was the other thing I was going to do. I'm going to get another fertilizer spread up, one of the trailed ones, so that um, I can, on the bigger fields, I can have two fertilizers running to get that done quicker and then I can get two cedars on and then obviously we've got the two harvesters so that's going to make doing a lot of the bigger fields a lot easier um, right with what I've got left then let's see where's the telehandler that's disappeared hiding behind there I need to take the telehandler down if I can get in it that is oh there we go Okay. Check out some field prices. Going to try field 14. It's a little bit smaller than 15. I say it's a little bit smaller, it seems a little bit wider. Um, I'm sure this one was something like 330,000. It's a lot of money. Three hundred and three. 10.12. You know what? Why not? Okay. Well, we know our field 14. Okay. Well, we're buying more fields. That was the whole point of doing the silaging. Uh, right, let's get down to the dairy farm. We are making a difference. So, like I say, we've got a lot of options now. We've got more cows. I need to do some work down there. Um, I've got a new field which is going to need seeding or with something I don't know, I might put a maize crop in this one actually now I've got wheat in 21 I might put a maize crop in this um, I've got three fields now that are ready with canola so uh, yeah it's all very exciting isn't it um, hmm. let's see I leave the bale spikes. There we go. Just over here. There 
Make sure this is lined up so it doesn't catapult it across the yard. Maybe not too bad. Okay, right. Let's get a load of mixed ration in, shall we? We'll do that. Now, I've got a lot to do. And I think it's going to be in uh, the next episode. We're going to really make a start proper, I would imagine. Oh, that slid down the forks. So, we'll get a load into the feeder wagon. Feeder mixer. Self-propelled feeder. You know what? I, it's just the same thing. I keep doing this every single time. Okay, forage mixer wagon. So it's a forage mixer. I kept saying feeder mixer, forage mixer wagon. So it's self-propelled forage mixer wagon. God, dear me, it's terrible, isn't it? Right, let's get this over the side. Drop that down and pull it off. First one in. Now, I've used a front loader with double forks. I've used the um, mine's gone blank skid steer with a single prong and then two below it. But for actually doing this job, I don't think I've ever used the triple pronged one before. But we'll give it a go. This is just, this is way more stable than the other telehandler did not like that at all. I know I've said that before, but I'll keep saying it. Didn't like it. Sorry. If one of those people that really likes it, I do apologise. I just didn't. So, let's... Nah! What am I doing? You know what? Be easier if I actually just tip it like that. Oh, okay, okay, you're right. That down. Onto the ground. Jump out. Jump in this. So we should be at 8,000. Yep. The rest, to make it proper mixed ration, should be silage. Turn it on. Let's fill the rest of it up. There we are. Mixed ration. Turn it off. Lift the front up. So I don't hit it on the side of the trough when I put it in. And we should, hopefully, by putting this in, take ourselves up to 100% productivity. I hope. It may take a few minutes for that to register. Oh, look at all those cows. It's a lovely sight. Right. Just check them. Cows owned, 40. Productivity, 80%. But we have got something in all the boxes now. We have got mixed ration. We've got silage. We've got grass. We've got straw. Okay. Not bad at all. That will all need adding to because there's not a huge amount there. What I want to try and do is get enough in there that I've got enough to last six days because obviously playing in real time as much as possible those six days worth of rations will last ages um, so I'll just pop this here it is filthy it does need a clean and we'll jump out okay so it's been a busy well evening night and daytime, let's jump up on there. With the sun coming up, ten past six in the morning. Chad's worked really well all night. We started off this morning. Well, we started off ten minutes ago <laughs> with seven hundred and thirty odd thousand. We've now got hundred and eighty three. We've spent a fair bit. But that's the problem. You start selling silage, doing logging, whatever you're doing and that money builds up and you think whoa you know that's a lot of money sitting there and you haven't got to buy very much and then all of a sudden that lot of money is a little bit of money um i'm considering and i did say this before getting another forage harvester probably a chrome big x with a bigger header 
next episode might see me do a bit of seeding into field 14 our new purchase um, get some more feed in for the animals need to do a canola harvest but the canola I've done a lot so I'm going to do the canola harvest off screen um, and then I do need to think about maybe longer term getting some sugar beet in and maybe some potatoes as well so I might repurpose some of the canola fields um, yeah I don't know it's a big decision so the other thing I could do is stick canola into 14 and then use 15 top part of 15 and maybe 16 one for sugar beet one for potatoes keeps them close to the yard central to the map for taking them wherever I need to take them I don't know it's all ideas anyway mulling over in my head um, anyway that said hope you've enjoyed the episode if you liked it give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you've got a comment you want to leave absolutely leave a comment we are on Facebook as well follow us on there we do tend to put a lot of screenshots over there from things we've been doing on the various different episodes and as ever whatever you choose to do thanks for watching